It's a good thing I can play guitar because I can't cook a lick. <laughs> my wife and my sister, though, are great cooks. Let's head down to the cafe and see what they've got on the menu today. Y'all come on in. Stay wherever you want. Our farmhouse and our little cafe, Marcy Joe's, is right next to the Duck River. And there's some darn good fishing in that river, too. Yes, there is. I've actually gone fishing down there behind old man Jack's house. I love to go fishing. Every once in a while, if you look outside in my hoopty, you'll see a fishing pole hanging out the window. I've seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> Proof. <laughs> well, Marcy's whole family loves to fish, and so do we. And today's recipe is perfect for that, because today we're making our catfish with our homemade hush puppies. Yep, and also we're making homemade batter, which is really neat. You guys would just love this batter. Um, a long time ago, a friend of mine told me about they use pretzels in their batter. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I went and I got some pretzels, really thin ones, took it home, put it in the mixer, blended it up really, really fine. See how fine that is? Mm -hmm. And then I added also a couple cups of cornmeal, and then I mixed it all together just like that. And I mean, it's really thin. And we fillet our catfish here, which is really, really nice. Wow. That does look nice. And I love the fact that the pretzels already have salt in them. Yes. So you don't have to salt your... Yeah, people your always ready. ask, what is in this batter? It tastes so good, you know? Well, while you're making that, I'm going to show you guys how we make our hush puppies. And these are homemade. These actually came from our cook. And uh, we have started here with our cornmeal and some regular white flour, a little bit of salt. We're going to add about three tablespoons of sugar in with this, about a half a cup of onion. Next, we're going to put in some garlic pepper that has some good seasonings in it that has salt as well. People Two eggs popcorn. beaten. They do love these hush yeah, puppies. I think do. what's great about them is they have so much flavor, but they're so fresh. And you can tell they're not something that you just right. buy in the freezer yeah. section and you throw in the refrigerator in the uh, deep fryer. You're going to add a cup and a half of buttermilk, and I think that's key too, is that yeah. you use buttermilk to make it even thicker and creamier. Mm -hmm. You're going to mix this up really, really good, and your batter is going to be nice and yeah, thick. Pull, Thank yeah. you, Mars. Uh -huh. Nice and thick, just like this, as you can see. Now, when Marcy goes fishing, <laughs> and she talks about the fish that she catches, I'm not sure they're, which is a stretch. No, they're big. They're big. I think the last one was like, I don't know, 25. 30 ounces? No, no, no. Pounds, gold darn it. They're big. They're big. Ones. Well, we've already started our oil here in a cast iron skillet. You can use a deep fryer if you'd like, but there's nothing better than a cast iron. No, there isn't. And you're just going to drop these hush puppies in a kind of a ball, and then they just kind of fill out. Sometimes they turn out really pretty, and sometimes Well, the hush puppies are really good because they're crispy on the, in, on the outside. See how crispy mm. they're getting? And they only take a few minutes. And they're really moist on the inside, so wow. they're really, really good. We have people come in and they'll literally ask, can we have hush puppies as an appetizer? So yeah. that's how good they are. Well, we're going to have some people taste this today. Okay. These are some really special friends. So we're going to have Jack and Sandy Lawrence. Come on over here, guys. So glad to have you here. Hi, Jack. Hi, some Sandy. Some of y'all will notice Miss Sandy. Come on over here. Sandy wrote When I'm Gone, and she also performed in the video. And uh, just does such a great job. And this is her other half, Cowboy Jack Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Jack has been teaching me how to rope for the past few years, and he's quite a horse hand and a cow hand and uh, just a dear, dear friend. So are y'all hungry? Oh, yes. yes. Do y'all like catfish? It smells so good. Oh, I hope you like really it good. because we got you some right here. Now, this oh, is still Lord. hot, so we're just going to use hands I here. These are our hush puppies. You can see nice, how nice Isn't and golden they are. Cool. We're country inside. folk around here. We use our hands. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, it's good. You like Isn't that? Isn't that good? Right. You can have them with tartar sauce or you can have them without because yeah. I think they just, the flavor yeah. bursts in your mouth and you can taste those pretzels yeah. too. Well, y'all go ahead and oh, thank enjoy. You. Thank, you. thank you guys for being here today. Yeah, All right. Well, there you have it, folks. That's our catfish here at Marcy Joe's along with our hush puppies. Yep. Where we're changing lives. One bite at a time. 